You know, it wasn't so long ago that people started to make morality relative. It's it's how I feel about the thing. And if I feel, look, look, my wife neglected me, and, and some other woman cared for me. So you can call it adultery, but it's not adultery. It's love. It's it's morality is what I feel it is. Well, well, we have now gone from moral relativism to reality relativism, where reality is whatever I happen to feel is. If I feel I'm black, I'm black. If I feel I'm a woman, I'm a woman. If I feel I'm a creature from out of space, I'm a creature from out of space. Now look, I know there are people who have legitimate, deep struggles, emotional and others. And I know when it comes to, quote, transgender, that that's a very wide umbrella. And it includes people who have genuine biological or genetic abnormalities. We should look at them as people who have a real handicap. Therefore, our hearts go out to them all the more. But, but, but listen, Bruce Jenner is no more a woman than a dog is a cat. Bruce Jenner is no more a woman than Rachel Dolezal is black. Listen to what Rachel Dolezal says when she's being interviewed. <laughs> and the interview is asking the right question. The interviewer is asking the right question. She's being so polite. I would wish that she would be even more direct and say, this is social moral insanity. You're not just what you think you are. If I believe I'm a tulip, if I believe I'm a giraffe, if I believe I'm a computer, if I believe I'm a woman or I'm black, I'm none of the above, no matter how deeply I might feel it. Clip number one. Let me just ask you plainly, have you ever lied about your race? No, because never have I been asked, are you human or not human, right? So, so yeah, those words race, like race in a, in a, as a construct, again, as a fluid understanding. So I would say no. All right, you, you got to be kidding me. You, well, ray, human race is a, is there, no one's asking you if you were the human race. That was not the question. The question was, are you black. This is not a fluid construct. This is not, well, I know some days I feel black and some days I feel white and some days I feel, I actually feel Asian. Other days I feel Native American. No, 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 no. It has nothing to do with that. Now, it's one thing if you were mixed race and, and one day you feel a little bit more one thing and another day you feel a little bit more the other thing. That's not the case with her. The, the, the fact of the matter is we know who her parents are and we know what she looked like growing up and we know when she started to make conscious changes to look different. Well, she's asked directly about this. The, the interviewer goes a little bit further. Listen to clip number two. You know when someone asks you, are you black? Are you African-American? You know exactly what they're asking you. And for you to say yes, is that an honest answer? When somebody asks, are you black, which I actually don't get asked very often, um, until recently, since a few days ago, then I say, yeah, I, I do, you know, I, I am black. Do you understand um, why many people would think, given your parents and your heritage, that is at best a misleading answer? Um, I, I can understand that, but again, up to this point, I know who raised me. I haven't had a DNA test. There's been no biological proof that Larry and Ruthann are my biological parents. There's a birth certificate that has your name on it and their names on it. I'm not necessarily saying that, that I can prove they're not, but I don't know that I can actually prove they are. All right, Rachel. Are you actually saying that you don't know if those are your biological parents? Maybe somehow they forged the, but you were adopted. The little black baby adopted that somehow looked white, somehow looked white growing up her entire life. Blonde hair, blue eyes, whatever, somehow looked, looked white. Was, was adopted, this little black girl who looked white was adopted and raised by parents who claimed she was her own and, and by some collusion, because there's all kinds of manipulation in the hospitals in those days, right? Mm -hmm. By some kind of collusion, they produced this phony birth certificate. Tell you what, why not have a DNA test done, Miss Dolezal? 
why not have a DNA test done? And then we can determine if you are genetically and biologically the daughter of those white people. Well, why would it matter? Because that's not going to mean anything. We're talking about something which is a denial of reality, in which case it doesn't matter what facts you bring. Well, no, no, no. It's different with Caitlyn Jenner. How is it different? How is it different with Bruce Jenner? Can you supply me with all the money that was spent on, on sex change surgery or whatever he's had done so far, whatever money has been spent so far, are you telling me that at no point did he think of saying, let me just see, let me get a chromosomal test to see if I'm actually male? All his life, growing up, whatever struggles he had, a man who's very much male, very much macho, great male athlete, and a man attracted to women who fathered six children, the six that we know of, right? Maybe there were more we don't know, but I've no ever. I'm just at least six, right? At least six. A male still attracted to women. What if, because we know biologically there's no evidence he's female, is, is the, the women that he slept with that had his children, or that had his, the, the woman who had his children, there's no saying that, that he was not male. Well, what if chromosomally, genetically, biologically, he's male? No, no, gender is a construct. Gender is not a construct. Just because people say it is doesn't mean it is, friends. There is a difference between a male and a female. And the thing that's so ironic is the people who say, well, it's just a construct and you can't box people in. And yet when your little boy likes girls, well, he must be a girl. Why? Because he plays with, or excuse me, he likes dolls. He must be a girl. That's how you work it out now? If, if he does certain things that are associated with females, he, he must be female. I thought we shouldn't do this gender stereotyping. And why have sex change surgery to convert your body into something it was not intended to be? That's where you got to be on hormones for the rest of your life. If it's just what you perceive, why not perceive yourself to be fully female even though you're fully male? We're, we're talking about societal insanity. These people deserve our, our prayer and our help. And if they're willing, willingly deceiving people at Rachel Dolls, they, they need, need prayer for repentance as well. Well, she's asked even more directly. So are you, are you white? Are you black? Clip number three, listen to what she has to say. Well, I definitely am not white. I, I, nothing about being white describes who I am. So, what's the word for it? You know, I mean, I, the closest thing that I can d come to is if, if you're black or white, I'm black. I'm more black than I am white. Have you changed your physical appearance? <laughs> um, yeah, well, definitely. I've, I've experimented with my hair. Some days, if, you know, I might, if I have spray, you know, like bronzer or whatever, get a glow, but other days I don't. And I think even the word disguise has been put out there and all that kind of, and it just sounds very like intentional and deceitful and structured and um, I just want to feel beautiful. <laughs> and this is how I feel beautiful. Okay, so she's more black than she is white because she feels that way. What do feelings have to do with skin color? Can I ask that again? What do feelings have to do with skin color? What do feelings have to do whether you're male or female? And if perception is reality, friends, there is no limit. If I believe I am Napoleon Bonaparte that, and I feel it deeply, maybe reincarnated from a previous life, if I really believe it and feel it, then I have every right to walk down the street in some kind of French outfit and wear the hat that he wore and tuck my hand in and the whole bit and tell people you now must identify me as Napoleon, which would mean I'm also not Jewish. Well, then that's... And, and, and hey, if I am convinced I'm a black Viking woman, then who's to say that I I am not. Oh, let's go a step further. Check out Therian or Other Ken, T H E R I A N, or Other Ken. These are people who genuinely believe they are part animal or all animal. Think of Native American. You have the spirit of the wolf for this, that. Well, these people really believe it. And some believe that they are part alien. Well, maybe they are. And maybe we're not even human beings. Maybe we're all aliens and maybe we're all animals. And you say, Mike Brown, you are mocking people who are struggling. No, I'm saying, let's come back to reality. If we come back to reality, we can help people who are struggling. 
If we come back to reality, we can help people find wholeness from the inside out, not by some Therian wearing a leopard's uh, tail, not, not by a woman claiming she's black and changing her appearance to look that way, not by a man posing on the front of Vanity Fair like he's some pin-up swimsuit star when that's a male. Please, friends, let's come back to reality. Reality is not whatever we perceive it to be.